make the world a better place. Hi, I'm Zainab and I'm the chairperson of school council. I would like to find out more about what the eco warriors do. Hi Saliha, what inspired you to be an eco warrior? Because we got the opportunity to uh, plant more uh, plants and we can play around and make the environment much more greener. Hi Eshwa, do you really think one person can make a difference? No, but we can do it all together. Our motto is small actions times lots of people equals big change. For example, if one person recycles paper, it doesn't make a big difference. But if, all, if everyone recycles paper, we can save the trees. Hi Nadia, what's your favourite thing about being an eco warrior? My favourite thing about being an eco warrior is inspiring lots of children to make a big difference, like walking to school instead of travelling by car. This reduces pollution and makes the air cleaner. I'm impressed on how much you've helped make a difference. Now, I'm glad, um, now we can teach all the rest of the younger children how to make a difference. Mr. Basfield, do you think that the eco warriors are doing a good job? I do think they're doing a good job because I think it's really important in schools that pupils get involved in their school. So rather like we have a school council, we have eco warriors and playground buddies, and I think you're doing a fantastic job raising awareness around all sorts of things. And I know that you're enjoying doing it as well. Mr. Vasco, if you came to for a visit after you'd retired, what changes could an eco warrior make? Well, I think you have to make sure, first of all, that you carry on doing what you're doing, because that's excellent. But I think you could start to think about how we could even be better recyclers. Because it's really hard to convince people, isn't it, to, to, for them to know that recycling is important. And you've gone a long way in terms of making people think about those things. And I don't think you can ever give up, really. You have to work very hard on that. All right? No, thank you. Nice to see you both. Thank you. Um, Miss Steven, how do you recycle at home? Well, I recycle lots of things at home now. I have a recycling bag, so I try to recycle as many things as possible. I have... I recycle plastics and paper at home and anything I can't recycle I try to take to local recycling banks. Miss Steedman, do you think that the Eco Warriors are making a difference to our school? I think the Eco Warriors are making a big impact in the school now. I think they're getting the message across to children and staff about the importance of recycling and about green issues. We now try to recycle more in the classrooms and in the staff room. We recycle paper as much as possible. We have recycling trays, so we try to reuse paper. And we have the recycling bins in classrooms. And we try to have the fruit composting in the playground. So I think that the eco warriors are having a much bigger impact in school. Thank you. Someone left the tap open. Oh, it's our duty to um, close it. It's such a waste of water. Don't forget to turn off the tap at home while you're brushing your teeth. Every classroom has a recycling bin. And um, what do you think that you should put in a recycling bin? What does the class think? in the recycling bin. What does the class think? Yes. Why is it on there? No, stop! Always cut cut out from from the edge of a piece of card or paper, then someone else can use the rest. It's it's so much it's so much less of a waste. Thank you for telling me I will do that next time. It's my pleasure. No! Don't waste paper. Somebody could you somebody could use the other side. Put it in the scrap paper drawer.
We put metric cans in this bin so the, the, so then they can be melted down and made into new cans. If you put cans into a normal bin, they will go to a landfill site where they will take at least 100 years to decay. It takes about a million years to decay for a plastic bottle, so don't put them in the normal bins. If we recycle cardboard and paper, we'll, we would have to cut down less trees. We even encourage our teachers to recycle more. No, Mr. Gibbard! The paper goes into the paper recycling bin. Seriously, Mr. Gibbard, don't you know your metal can goes into the river? Well, we tried. We put clean old clothes, shoes, bags, sheets, towels, bags and belts into the Bertie Bank. They are reused to, for other people to wear or if they are torn they are shredded to make felt. If you want to help out by recycling at home, you can sort things into the correct boxes. Anything paper or cardboard can go in one box. And plastic bottles only, uh, glass and cans can go in the other box. Unfortunately, in Redbridge, they don't recycle the plastic yogurt pots um, or the vegetable cartons or uh, milk or juice cartons, but you can, if you're really keen, take them to Sainsbury's and they'll recycle them all there. Good luck, help out at home. So, what do you do for recycling if you live in a flat? Um, if you lived in a flat, then we would collect it in plastic bags and then on the bottom of our building there used to be this tower and it used to have these sorting bins and there was one for paper, one for bottles and then we used to sort it out in there. Okay. We won't put our milk in the fruit bin because it won't turn into lovely soil. I'm going to put it in the bin and I'm going to it will turn into soil. We don't waste our fruit in the normal bin, we put it in, our, in the compost bin. We tip the fruit into the compost, big compost bin and, and it turns into this lovely sweet soil. Get to put the lid back on. When the compost 
bin gets pulled all that around the corner. All of it goes in here. And then eventually it starts to look like that. And eventually it will look like this. And we can start to grow things in the soil compost. If we're lucky we might even find a worm. We want to keep our school eco-friendly and clean. We use the little pickers to pick up the rubbish to make our playground nice, clean and tidy. newly painted planters we painted them we had a design competition from the ecoyas so we painted them don't they look great Hello, I'm an eco I want to look at your pipe plunger for anything you can reduce or reuse your uh, recycle your anything in your pipe plunge. This is a great container for recycling. What do you do next after you finish? Um, I wash it and I keep it in a dryer to use next time. That's great. What about your water bottle? What do you do? Unfortunately, this is, can't be recycled, but you have a great lunchbox either way. Thank you. Can you use your container next for? For when I wash it and put my sandwich in it again. So what about your grapes? I'll wash it and put my grapes in. Well done, you got not much rubbish in your, rubbish in your lunchbox. You got loads of containers and you can reuse, reduce, recycle. So I really like your pack lunch box, how you have different items that can be reused. What do you think? Yes. Do you normally reuse them? Yes. These unfortunately can't be recycled. So do you just throw them in the bin? Yeah. What do you do at home to help recycle with your mum? I help her putting it put it in the correct box. Oh that's very well done, young man. Hello, I'm an eco. I'm going to look at your pack lunch if anything you can recycle. Um, unfortunately, you can't recycle this. It has to go in the bin. But you can recycle this. What are you going to use it next? Um, I'm going to use it for water whenever I go um, somewhere with my grandma. Oh, that's nice. What about your grapes? When you finish your grapes, what are you going to do with next with that container? Um, I'm going to use it for some other fruit so my mum could put it in my pack lunch. Well, that's great. Other than this, your pack lunch is really good to recycle. so much 
my food, your, your food to, uh, today. I'm full up. Well done, you eat, you've eaten all your food today. And I don't try to waste food like other people. Always eat all of my dinner. a year on paper but that means fifth that's 50p each for each child each week but that still adds up to a lot of money for that much money our partner school Kibo can use that much money to build a new toilet and a new kitchen so teachers do you really need to print out 30 pieces of paper or, or can children copy off the board or share between two You know, £134 million worth of electricity is wasted in Britain every year by people leaving gadgets plugged in longer than they need to, even all night. Most phones and laptops only take an hour or two to charge, so unplug them when you're finished. Don't leave them on all night. No, we should re repair them and make them into these new dance ribbons using this curtain holder, tags and these old ribbons. What a silly idea I had to throw these ribbons away, whereas your idea to repair them was so great. Yes, and also we don't have to waste so much money for more ribbons and we can use all these ribbons for a whole class. So now you know what the eco-warriors do to help save the environment in the school. If we're not more careful, careful, Earth will run out of fuel. What are you going to do to make a difference today? So remember the three eco-Rs.
cares for joyful giving. We try, we shall see. In this bliss, we cannot feel.
Take my